Hey there YouTube coin community, this is Coin Snoop with CoinOp. Grab a seat and get ready for a wild ride through coin history. You won't believe the cool stuff I'm about to tell you. So let's start and roll the intro. Coin so, back in 1916, the United States men decided to shake things up and introduced the Standing Liberty Coin. A coin with a fearless Lady Liberty on the front, standing tall, holding a shield like a ball symbolizing protection, and cradling an olive branch, symbolizing peace. She's got this fierce look that screams, in God we trust, with the 13 stars repping the 13 original states. But here's the kicker, she was, um, a bit breezy on top, if you catch my drift. Yep. She had an exposed breast, and that caused a stir, and people were like, hold up, that's too bold for us, that's a bit daring. On the flip side, pun intended, you've got a majestic eagle in flight. It's a symbol of freedom, embodying the soaring spirit of America itself. The eagle's wings are outstretched, capturing a sense of motion and dynamism. It's like you can almost feel the wind beneath its wings as it glides through the air. With the motto E Pluribus Anum between the wings, and with the United States of America on top, quarter dollar on bottom, and 13 stars, 7 on the left side and 6 on the right side of the eagle. It's like a mini masterpiece you can hold in your hand. After a little public eyebrow raising about Liberty's topless look, who knew coins could be scandalous. They decided to give her a makeover. Voila! The Type 2 Standing Liberty Quarter arrived, and this time, Liberty's bare breast was draped up with a shirt of chain mail and looking class. And the reverse design was modified too, by moving the eagle more to the center of the coin and by placing three of the 13 stars that used to be on the sides of the reverse beneath the majestic bird. The Type 2A was minted till 1924, and the Type 2B from 1925 till 1930. The dates on the coins were recessed, giving them more protection from wear. Guess who's responsible for this artsy coin? It's Herman Atkins MacNeil, the sculptor who dreamed up this masterpiece. He's all about capturing the vibe of the era. World War I is in full swing, and the country is in a whirlwind of change. He wanted to capture the spirit of the times, what with the whole World War I and all. His idea was to show strength and vulnerability rolled into one. And boy, did he do a bang-up job. The Standing Liberty Quarter was made from 90% silver and 10% copper, giving it that classic silver coin look, and was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The Standing Liberty Quarter is not just a chunk of metal, it's like a time machine. It takes you back to when the world was changing, and people were dealing with big stuff. This coin shows how art and history can shake hands and create something totally rad. Before we continue, I want you to know that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have coin sales live here in CoinOp Channel. On Monday and Friday, we have them at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Wednesday, we have them at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be seeing you there. And one more thing, we're thrilled to introduce you to the ultimate guide that will unveil the hidden gems within your coin collection. The Chair Picker's Guide Volume 2, 6th Edition, Available here in Coin Op for only $39.95 plus shipping and handling. And just at 9 and get priority mail US only. For orders and inquiries, shoot us an email on errors to you at AOL.com. Grab your copy now. So, you got the itch to add a piece of the past to your collection. Good on you. You've got a few options for snagging the Standing Liberty Coin. First stop, your local coin shops or numismatic shelves. These places are like treasure trove for coin enthusiasts. You can get hands on with the coins, chat with experts, and maybe even score a gem. 
And if you can't find them there, the internet's got your back. Online coin marketplaces and auction websites can be a goldmine figuratively speaking, of course. Just make sure to do your research on the seller and read those reviews. And hey, don't forget about reputable online coin dealers who specialize in historical pieces like the Standing Liberty Coin. But beware, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Keep an eagle eye out for counterfeits and fakes. Now, for the part that'll make your eyebrows shoot up. The price of these coins can go all over the place. If you're up for owning a slice of history, you might dish out anywhere from tens to hundreds of dollars for high grades like this 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter, PCGS graded mint state 67 full head, sold by Heritage Auctions for 146,875 US dollars. Yep, collecting coins can be like treasure hunting for grown-ups. And here's the kicker, fun fact alert. The identity of the model for the obverse of the quarter is uncertain. As early as May 1917, the model for the depiction of Liberty was reported to be Doris Dasha, who would later become a silent film actress under the name Doris Dory. This was accepted for many years. Dasha became well known as the girl on the court. So there you have it the standing Liberty Quarter in all its glory. A piece of history, a work of art, and a conversation starter all rolled into one shiny package. The next time you spot an old coin, who knows what amazing story it might have tucked away. If there's a coin variety you want to feature in our future videos, comment down below and tell us how you rate this video from low 1 to high 10. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. We found that there are still people who watch our videos but are not yet subscribers. We'd really love for you to subscribe and join our coin community. Well, there you have it. Take care and have a wonderful week. Thank you for your love and support. See you in the next video. Good luck and happy hunting.